Hello, Tales from the Outpost is back. We have the opportunity to attend Tiki Agogo's inaugural event at the Carib Royale near Walt Disney World. We will be showcasing the event in three part video. Um, first one's going to focus on seminars and activities that happened at the event. The second one's going to be just the vendors that were there. And then the third video will be music and room events. As always, come waste your time with us. I-22! I-22! That was the year, or that was the age I got married. I'm not married anymore, so thanks. I don't work notes, so... I-22! It's a trap! I-22.
Essentially, I got to 75 home tiki bars, and at the point that I reached 75 visits, I decided that, there's some seats here. There's a couple of seats here too, come on in. I decided that was the time to kind of stop, put a line in the sand, and start devoting my attention towards writing the book, and that's what I did. So I took a break for a bit at that point, and uh, basically all of the stories that I wrote, all of the 75 bars that I visited, uh, culminating in that California trip or what you find in the book. Just like Rob's, uh, he quite touch on what he was very, very uh, inspired by the mic guy. He has a lot of touches with his bar that is are, are uh, almost as if it was a, another bar at the mic guy. Um, yeah, thank you. I should have said that. Yeah. I, it's I the camel that. <laughs> right. um, That's where the camel comes from. And for, so for us, what we were married at the Polynesian, like Kim said, we met at, at Walt Disney World many, many years ago. We um, we took inspiration from that. We do have a few mic guy pieces, but for us. The, the most critical place for us close by was was uh, Walt well, Disney World and specifically the, the, the Baldwin Resort. So um, that's kind of, like she said, we kind of uh, just built around a, a, centra, a central back bar focal point. Oh, wow. So yeah, so now we have a bar. Uh, like, it took a, a while. That's another thing to consider. You go to these outdoor expos where they're like, oh, I have an outdoor kitchen. They want like, 30 grand for like two cupboards and a sink. We grew up going there. Um, so with the Tiki Bars in Anaheim and Orlando, so you got the Enchanted Tiki Bar out there, Trader Sam's, and brought it right over here, so I kind of combined the two. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, <laughs> so this is a, a large house. There is an aerator right there. And then on the far picture on the right, there's a method soap dispenser there. Mm -hmm. It's an ore um, that I built sanded with black. So it's just an ore that's just floating off the wall. Mm -hmm. It's um, a water faucet just to get your battery operated and your touch free. Mm -hmm. I can cannibalize everything. No trick, no. <laughs> The 1960s and 70s brought us designs with cakes and the popular waterfall feature, giving an air of elegance to the tiki dress. This floor-length Elsie Carasa of Waikiki is a classic beauty, just like Miss Ruby. Elsie was also a milliner, producing hats and handbags, as well as her line of dresses. Here we have a cake design from Sears and Roebuck Company in 1941. Sears was the first large American retailer to open a store in Hawaii. Francine gave us Francine gave us a spin. Uh, I was very excited to do this. This is my first time uh, doing this particular uh, talk, and I was at the Jungle Cruise on Thursday. A, a nice skipper signed me in, and I got to. I already had this pretty much done. But I had some pictures in there, and so on the right I had my camera. Oh, I can get a better picture of that. So there's a couple of pictures in here that weren't there Thursday morning when I got here. So yeah, my plane landed in. How many of you were my last talk? How many of you? A bunch of you, almost all of you came back for more. I'm very, I feel so bad for you people. All right. So already know, I got here at 5, dropped my stuff off here, and I was at the park for rope drop at 8, because the skipper was going to, they were signing me in for free. Hey, look, welcome to the Jungle Cruise, the only attraction where they sink their boats. How beautiful is that? <laughs> rarely ever, rarely ever. I just, that wasn't Thursday, that was. <laughs> <laughs> they will just say it, the Magic Kingdom Park. And I didn't know that till 2017. I'm like, what the hell is the Magic Kingdom? In this zone? I had it, we all had it completely backwards. It's all the Magic Kingdom. No, it's not the Magic Kingdom. It's, you guys should tell us, because now we look like idiots. All right, so, anyway. Uh, that's the size of right there. This is an actual photograph of Disneyland. This is where they were building it. Is there a real laser pointer in here? Or I just, should I even develop it? Be, be laid by the, the zebra and pretend to be eaten by a lion? That was exciting. <laughs> Unless there were little kids on the boat and then the managers were running here because there was, it would be a kid hysterically screaming in the dock. So, oh well. The trap safari, that's a Mark Davis scene as well. That went over there. He liked it, so he stuck in there. That's the Florida. Uh, one and then the hippo pool uh, that was had been there since the very beginning, but that was one of the things that went over pretty much unchanged. Designed to be like the emotional, like dramatic part of the attraction. There's the Cambodian tribe. Yours is all fancy. Look at that, with crocodiles hanging on it. So yours is I like this one much better. It's it's very cool. Although we have one with a giant 
It's like a carving of an of a, of a elephant, but it's just, it looks, it's kind of round and brown. So he said, ladies and gentlemen, there it is, the world's biggest chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of what it looked like. They told us not to say that, so we said it. Uh, you got African elephants. The trap safari, I think people thought this one was a bridge too far. A man-eating plant! Uh, and this was years before Little Shop of Horrors was created. And what it was going to be is there were human skulls and bones going to be around them. And he had like little claws, and then as you went by, he would burp. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Yeah. And then, yeah, you can't, you can't have a burping man-eating plant. Yeah. Why not, right? Because then you can tell the rookies, that's where you're going. You're not funny. <laughs> Those bones are real. All right. They believe because they're rookies. And then this one that he thought about for Disneyland Jungle Cruise, but really tried to put it there for him, was fighting crocodiles, where crocodiles would bite each other and just kind of spin. So there was have crocodiles spinning right in Florida. You see, I have not yet seen a crocodile in Florida. I feel gypped. It's because we have alligators. It's called alligator, sorry. <laughs> you guys know the difference. I'm like, it's still a reptile that we eat in the water. That's all I know. Alec, what? There's crocodiles too. There are? Yeah. And alligators. Both. Do you have some by your house? Oh, wow, okay. Really? I don't mind, but it terrifies me. Okay. Just run in a zigzag. Okay. And they can't zigzag? All right. Just climb a tree? They can't climb trees, right? All right. I had a friend that lives in Montana, and he was watching his friend. He was I'm really worried I'm watching my friend's dog. I'm like, so he's eagles, bald eagles. I'm like, what about them? He's like, they will just grab your dog and fly away. Because it's a little like, small. I, I hope nobody lost their small dog to it. So this is going to wrap it up for the seminars and other activities that were going on during Tiki A Go Go. Um, overall, Kevin and I thought the seminars and activities were great. Um, there was actually just too many of them that we had to pick and choose and they kind of overlapped a bit so you'd miss the beginning or the end of some um so i think that part would probably need a little tweaking but again inaugural event so okay uh we attended a lot of the disney focused seminars but there were plenty to choose from um from rum to haunted florida tiki culture diversity just to name a few and then there were also three rum tasting events that were an extra charge um, we didn't get to attend as well as a supper club with a burlesque show that we also didn't attend uh, we had our kids with us and we decided just to skip those events um, and focus on what was included and things that were more family fr friendly in a way um, overall this event was very family friendly uh, in my opinion so this event had a lot to choose from um, and especially if you want to learn more about Florida Tiki culture, they have you covered. So until the next episode, thanks for wasting your time with us.